You've heard about the battle that was fought in New Orleans when the British had some trouble with their ranks. Now I'd like to tell you all about the war at Queenston Heights where the British chased 4,000 frightened Yanks. What a great victory for the British. What a history's most heroic fight. What a sight so fine when that long red line drove the Yankees off of Queenston Heights. Started out with the odds all against them. But the British had a fighting man named Brock. He was fearless, he was brave, and old Queenston he did save from the Yankees who were petrified with shock. What a great victory for the British. One of history's most heroic fights. What a sight so fine when that long red line drove the Yankees off of Queenston Heights. On the other side, the Yankees had a meeting. All those engines with the British made them sad. Said their leader, Ben, I'm willing to take part in all the killing, but I just don't dig those engines when they're mad. What a great victory for the British. What a history's most heroic fight. What a sight so fine when that long red line drove the Yankees off of Queenston Heights. Well, the British kept the fighting even stronger. Every soldier aimed his musket carefully. And those Yankees watched the clock for the moment when old Brock stopped the shooting for some crumpets and some tea. What a great victory for the British. What a history's most heroic fight. What a sight so fine when that long red line drove the Yankees off of Queenston Heights. Then the British charged a yelling and a screaming. And those Yankees ran like bunnies in retreat. Cried their leader, man, I'm hip. You don't have to crack that whip. You can have the hill, cause chum, I'm feeling beat. What a great victory for the British. What a victory's most heroic fight. What a sight so fine when that long red line drove the Yankees 